Hey there everyone, it's Matt from Creative Reviews and today we have the Carzor. If you haven't heard of this, this is the razor shaving blade. I guess let's read it and it says it's an ultra portable cassette razor that f supposedly fits in your wallet and is the thickness of a card. Um, I ordered this online through eBay and I got a good price on it. I believe with shipping it was $4.20. So it has a lot of specs on the outside. So this, this is going to be an unboxing and I'm going to see what kind of wallet this actually fits in. So it comes with a plastic mirror. It says that's a traditional razor design and it has a Carzor blade. We'll see how good these are. I'm not sure if I'm going to try this on my face yet, but for now, we're just going to stick it in one of these wallets. So this is going to be the first un unboxing we have here. Came in a pretty simple looking package. And here we are. Just comes open like this. Has a matte finish. And there's our mirror, which looks pretty good. It pops out like this. I believe there's a cover on this mirror. Let's see if I can see myself here. Yeah, it's really clear. Really, really clear. So hold it like this and start shaving. Okay. Now I'm not exactly sure why this says five. If I were to think it, or just think about what I see here, I think five mean five blades or you get five of these little heads. But I don't believe that's true because all I see is two on the side here. But it seems like <clears throat> to actually make this work, you unclip this and you turn it around upside down and you just, you would put a, a blade in there and use it like that and then use the mirror to see how you're doing. So it's very simple, it's a good lifesaver just in case you need to shave really quickly and you don't have access to, you know, a bathroom or a razor blade. So let's see if this actually does fit inside of a wallet. This is my wallet. This wallet I use for everything. It's packed with a bunch of crap. Let's uh, get rid of this here. These are a bunch of receipts, which I don't have to carry with me. But let's see if it fits in this compartment. Is I'm trying not to let this break apart because you know this separates. Having a tough time sticking in there. Now the problem is I think I'm gonna start damaging this mirror if I stuff this in there too hard. Let's take these out here. And as of now it, it fits. Fits perfectly. I had to take a lot of my stuff out. Let's see if there's anything here that I don't need. Alright, we're only going to put the essential cards back in here. And it seems to fit perfectly. Let's see how that mirror is rubbing against final. Seems to be doing okay. Let's try a smaller wallet. This is where the credit cards would go. A little bit tight, but it seems to fit also too, but it's kind of bulging out. It's much thicker than an actual credit card. And now I'm having a hard time getting this back out. Because I don't want to break this. This is a really cool thing. And here we have a much larger, you know, trifold wallet. It's a little hard to fit in there. And this may be very, very portable as it is, but it is not the thickness of a card. And trying to, to not let this break, you know, it's pretty fragile as it is right now. Alright, so possibly just stick it where you put cash. And it seems to fit there. 
Alright, so my first opinion on it, it's a very good idea. It's a little flimsy when you try to push it into place. It could snap off a little bit. The mirror is a great idea, I like having that there to be able to look at yourself while you're shaving. Hopefully when you stick it in your wallet, the mirror doesn't distort and you get a weird shaving angle because the way I see it now, I'd have to be very close to get this without significant distortion. I like that it comes with the two blades. And, um, eh, why not? Let's see how to pull out one of these blades and pop it in there. Hopefully this doesn't give me any kind of disease. It seems like it has some glide pad. Glide pads up here. Alright, it sits right there. The blades seem to be going back and forth, so they're not exactly set in place. Alright, I don't want to do this, but... For the sake of the review, let's do it. Let's see little hairs on here. Yep, it's working. Yep, those hairs are gone. Okay, for the sake of it, I have a few hairs on my hand which are now gone. But it works. And you would pop this back out, I assume. Not wanting to cut myself with this. Not wanting to break it either. Put this back in its place. Pop this back here. I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Yeah, it goes out of the way. <sighs> Clean the blade just a little bit. And pop this back in. Alright, I mean this is really cheap. It may not be perfect for a, uh, a thin wallet or, you know, any kind of wallet because you don't want to distort the mirror too much, but it will do it. It seems to do a very good job. The blades aren't, you know, dull. They do what they're supposed to. So for now, I'm going to keep this in here. The next time I have a uh, shaving emergency. And I will give an experience review. I'm going to keep it in here, and uh, every once in a while I'm just going to pull it out and hopefully it won't snap. But maybe about a week from now I'll let you know have I had a shaving emergency? Has it snapped in here? Has it made it too thick to actually use? I'll let you know next time. This has been Matt from Creative Reviews unboxing and having a first look at the Carzor, which is an ultra portable cassette razor with a mirror that fits in your wallet. Find me on Facebook, WordPress, and Twitter, and Instagram now too. And I'll see you guys next time.